Hey guys, Upsy here, and so today I have myself the RKV 14 Crown. Um, this the, well, this weapon here, I can't compare it with the original because I haven't had that one. Uh, but this thing is, it says it's semi-auto, but it's not really semi-auto. The rate of fire on this thing is 250, and for semi-auto like that has a high rate of fire like that, it's, it practically is like an auto. Um, but again, it's, it's actually semi-auto, not fully. And uh, when we go on to the uh, the attachments, it can attach anything. I just use silencer, the special uh, bipod, and a four times scope. Let's go jump into matches. All right, here we are on Street Wars. Probably the best sniper map you can find for it's just sniping, I guess. Um, well, it's it's really annoying when you're not a sniper in this map. Oh my god, they literally all you have to do is camp at the top of a hill and you're done. Um. And by the way, this is not an auto sniper. People always think it's an auto sniper for some reason. It's just because the rate of fire is so high for semi-auto, so it makes it look like it's auto. But I mean, I guess you could say it is an auto. But I mean, there you go. That guy did not get hit once. Warface's best hit reg ever. It's retarded because they can code in some simple shit, but they can't even fix the hit register. Oh my god, I don't even know. It's like playing on a CSGO server with like, what, 20 tick probably? Or even 20, probably just 20, 10 tick or something. But uh, when you're using this weapon, kind of want it, you, you will actually need to prone most of the time. Just because there's um, it has quite a little, quite a little, well, quite a lot of um, recoil. There's a lot of kick to this thing when you're not, when you're just standing up. Especially when you're spamming the shots see there that standing up isn't really we want to do I mean unless you have to but just try and prone as much as you can I mean it does even using the uh, sniper rifle bipod not the special one it it's still all right there's no difference between the special and the uh, the regular one I just like the special one because it looks nicer well it does actually do better performance but not by much but just use it anyway so I mean this is what you mean this, this is what I mean about Street Wars being just a sniper map all you have to do is sit here at the top and just sit down and prone and spam all your shots and then you can kill everything I thought I had headshot that guy but the bush managed to uh, prevent headshotting him I don't understand how the goddamn bush can freaking stop a bullet like that much but there you go oh my god are you serious there you go now I hit him Oh, the guy is at the bottom there. I just keep on killing the people at uh, the of uh, the um, what's it now? The uh um, can't remember now. The obvious camping spots. Just trying to make sure oh, they're not going to be lurking in those areas. Oh, is anyone camping or not? Can I hit anyone here? It's like I can see someone. All the way over there. I hit him once. There you go, I got him. Wow, I was flashed as well. Lol. Flash kills. Don't actually happen a lot. Should be achievement. I don't know. Obvious camping spot. Snap that bush again. Guy likes that bush, but... There's only so much that you can do with that bush. Another great area. These poor guys just getting absolutely destroyed here. I don't want to camp too much though. Because the enemy team are camping as well. I don't want to bother waiting for them to try and stop camping because they won't stop camping. Go around back here, anyone? I could just place a mine here then I'll be done. Hopefully it, it get a kill. I mean they are quite expensive so... I mean, it's usually a guaranteed kill with their mines when you pay for them, but when you when you don't get a kill with them, and then it's just I don't know. There's the Easter egg. Hardly, hardly an Easter egg. It's just a doorbell, but it's kind of a something there you can interact with randomly during the match. Oh, oh, oh! Oh crap! Fifteen to three. I mean, yeah what you can do with this gun especially when you can just prone and then fire everything 
hoping that your enemies are just camping in the same spot so you can always fire that same position again. Is he at his bushes again? Yeah, well, there's some other people at the bush, but it's not just him at the bush now. I can't shoot his head, he just ran off. Oh no, someone managed to get rid of my mine, looks like. Oh, yep, he's right there. Oh, shit. Can I get him with my pistol? Let's see. There we go. Okay, hopefully this time my mine will kill someone. If it isn't... T it kind of does look like it's in an obvious position. Mind that. Oh my god. Still camping in the same spot. Well, this guy isn't. He's prob... Well, I, sh I don't know. He's not doing the best, but he seems to be a person who isn't camping. Camping a lot. He probably just joined the match as well. accuracy on this thing helps there. Eh? Oh yeah, in, t in terms of accuracy, the attachments do use the silencer, and then the, s the special sniper bipod, and then whatever scope, I don't really mind. I mean, I don't... It's just this scope isn't what I like. I haven't used the fast mid-range scope on this. I don't think it's necessary, just because the, z uh, the zoom in is really quick. Weapons like the TWM, that doesn't need a fucking nerf at all. But, again, they nerfed it for no goddamn reason, because... why not? Because reasons, basically. That's it. That's all I can say. They just nerfed it, like... Flick. One click of a button. That's all they needed to do. And now it's an absolute pile of shit, and no one likes to play with it no more because it is a pile of shit. Absolute pointless gun to spend your Warface dollars on for, like, a box weapon. Absolutely pointless. If you're gonna spend... if you wanna spend your... Warface dollars... Just try and get the Warlord helmets. If you got all of them, I don't know what to get. Metasoma? I oh, don't know. Spent 50,000 on Metasoma, I still haven't got it yet. But not surprising, because well, even the war even the regular Warface boxes cost an arm and a leg, and it's not real money this time. It's kind of fucked up. Random boxes, a great idea that everyone should do and waste all their money. Because you get fuck all from them if you don't get the goddamn gun. Like you get fuck all XP and fuck all money, you get fuck all anything. It's just the absolute shit rewards. The only thing that people w would want is the gun, because that's the only decent reward that you can fucking get. All the rest of the shit is crap, because... XP... If you're high level, it's not gonna help at all, because you only get like 100 XP, which is absolutely pointless. It's absolutely pointless getting like 100 XP. Like, I need... 200,000 XP to get to the next level. 100 XP is very helpful, is it? Okay. I don't know. Like, a little bit more XP would be good. I mean, what else is, um, actually quite decent is when you pay for real money for the uh, actual uh, random boxes, the money you get is actually quite good. I mean, if you spend 25 pounds, you could get, like, 50,000 Warface dollars, which isn't bad. That's actually alright. But then, of course, the regular water voice boxes, they're just, yeah, they're just terrible. That's the annoying thing. But, I mean, it's neither that, or if I play CSGO and I, I like to open cases every day in my life, then no, oh, well. There you go. He's right behind him. Oh, I didn't get him. Just missed him. A little bit. Actually, I didn't miss him. I mean, he didn't even know he was there. He just... Raped him in the ass. And that was the end, that was the end of that story for that guy. Oh, there's someone on the bus. So, yeah, this is basically what Street Wars is. It's just camp. 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 Oh, I got, yay, I got a uh, unexpected grenade kill there. I'm not going to bother going for that boom SMG. Oh, never mind, someone just got him. Easy. I'm gonna play some mine now because it is the end of the match. Jumping in the middle of nowhere. There we go. So, the RK14 EBR Light Crown, a semi automatic sniper, not fucking auto, because, you know, it says semi auto. 
And yeah, um, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all next time. We'll probably be doing some tip videos soon on maps and uh, weapons, showing how to play the weapons like FY103 as well. But yeah, and yeah, I'll see you next time.